Hello everyone and welcome to a new Satellite CLI tutorial. This video will be linking T-Rex to your Satellite account balance so you can directly mine from there to Satellite. This video will be split into two different parts. The first part will just be doing the tutorial itself and then the second will be seeing how you can add extra command options to customize your experience. Note that this guide is specifically for NVIDIA cards. Do not use this on AMD as T-Rex only support NVIDIA. With all of that said, we can just dive right in. The first thing you want to do is just download T-Rex. Now, the thing I recommend to do is going on the website by searching T-Rex Miner. And the first link should just be the right one. You can go into the download area and then choosing whichever OS you have, Windows or Linux. It's already done. Once you're in here, you should see a bunch of files, but we don't actually need all of them. What I suggest you do is delete all of these that we don't need just to clear up the clutter a bit. You'll just need to keep three of them being RVN, whichever one, ETH, whichever one again, and then one for ETC, whichever one. So all of these three you want to keep. It doesn't matter the name since we'll just be changing what's inside anyways. Uh, just pick whichever you like or think is the most appropriate name. If you forget to just keep one, you can also just create a new one and then change the name to be whichever you want. It's really no matter. What's inside is what really matters. Next part is just going to be free to do this. The first one is in the app, using the earn, minor details, scrolling down, go folder. If you don't have this little button here, or it just doesn't work, you can also just search up percent app data percent, opening that up, scrolling all the way down to the salad folder, under logs, and then as you can see, it's the same folder. Once you'll have to search for different keywords, since this is the easiest way to directly find the wallet ID and rig ID. What I usually search for is Ethermine, which brings me to the right one. However, if you don't find that, you can also search for NiceHash, for example. Which will just bring you to another thing. And if that doesn't work, you can even revert to a method like dash wall, which might not work. E wall, which also works. I'll just stick right here with the Ethermine and the NiceHash values, since it's easier to see and it's pretty clear. We want to keep both of them because depending on uh, the pool we choose, so it's going to be Ethermine for Ethereum and ETC, Ethereum Classic, and then for the Kaopao RVN pool, we'll just be using the NiceHash values since it's a NiceHash pool. And now we can just go ahead and edit all of the files. I'll start with ETC since uh, with ETH, Ethereum, it's just the easiest one. So just open it as edit. And then we'll just change what we need. So right here you can see it says ETH hash O Stratum TCP E mine or now they use Stratum plus TCP. I do recommend that. However, if you're not sure, you can also just type in dash SSL and then five 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 five. It's not it doesn't actually change anything, it's just the method of connection is going to be different. You can choose whichever you want. We don't need all of these things at the end, so I'll just let you change all of that and delete it up to you. Dash U, we're gonna add after that your wallet and rig. So since it's an, an Ethermine pool, we're gonna be e using the Ethermine wallet. So let's copy that over, paste it, add a dot, and then take the rig ID, take it and paste it. Believe it or not, that is the base mining file that you'll need. This is all of it there is. I'll just close this for now, and then we'll edit the ETC one. Once again, super easy. We'll just make sure that this is ETC hash. Now the pool is different because as you can see, the name of the file was two miners, so they don't include the right pool, but it's also very easy. So it's stratum plus tcp dash dash u1 dash etc. Then here you want to change it to ethermine, of course, because we're on an ethermine pool. They use the dot org. 
uh, oops, sorry, dot org. And then right here, the port is going to be uh, 444 because we're on the stratum uh, protocol. Once again, we don't need any of those things after dash u, so you can just delete them. And then I'll just go back to my log, then copy the wallet ID, paste that in, add a dot, and then take the rig ID and paste it in. And believe it or not, that is completely done for the ETC. And lastly, we'll have to change the cowpaw one to just open it again. The algo is cowpaw, so that's all good. Then we'll want to change the pool to be the right one. So you can actually delete it since none of it is really relevant. And just after the dash dash, you want to do cowpaw dot eu dot nice hash dot com then two dot thirty three eighty five so that's the pool that they use and once again we don't need all of it so you can just delete it go back to your log and this time since we're on a nice hash pool you're gonna want to use the nice hash wallet add it add it add a dot and then change the nice hash wallet uh, rig ID, sorry, and paste that in as well. And believe it or not, this is it for Raven, cow pound, actually. Just need to wait for a few seconds while it starts up. And as you can see, we started. So the dev fee 1% is normal. Uh, this is just a fee that's taken by ETH hash protocol, but it is normal. As you can see, um, uh, T-Rex has a nice little panel that you can actually use. So I'll just head on there right now. It's HTTPS, two dots, uh, HTTP, two dots, then 127, point zero point zero point one dash, uh, oops, sorry. Once again, forgot the, forgot the point, uh, 4067, slash t-rex and it'll just be met with this so this is interesting it'll show you your hash rate it's uh it's quite in time they have also a nice graph you can use uh, it just shows your hash rate your earnings for example uh the power consumption very interesting uh so you can use this on your local network to just see it the miner itself is also pretty interesting you know it has some nice um Nice little information that Okay, and as you can see right here, we just got our first share. So this is what you want to be looking out for, the big green OKs. These mean that you just got a share, and shares are worth uh, some value, so those are what you want to go be going for. As you can see, I'm on the laptop, so uh, heat is pretty high, and I really don't recommend running at this heat output uh, for any period of extended time, although on most, CPU, uh, most GPUs it should be okay. But anyways, uh, this is it. This is actually mining now. So you should see your balance uh, on sided. As always, though, because of payout lag, especially on Ethermine pool, this can take anyways, uh, anywhere from you know, 0 to 1 hour, 2 hours sometimes as well. Um, so if it doesn't appear immediately, just be warned of that. It is normal. Uh, it can take some time. That's normal. So anyways, that is the end of the tutorial itself. Uh, we'll just be moving on to the extra command line options you can use, and we'll specifically see how you can combat uh, high temperature, uh, especially on some uh, GPUs. So I'll just close this for now, since as you can see, it's running pretty high heat.
Um, and as you can see, once again, this nice little graph that we have, um, you know, you can start dark theme it. You can change a bunch of things as you, as you can see right here. This is all of the uh, config files. So see what we input here, the user, the URL. Um, but yeah, a bunch of things. Um, but we won't be using this right now. I'll be going back into uh, the files and I'll just edit. So the extra commands we're going to be using are actually going to work for any of the files. You don't, it isn't specific to ETC. I'll just be changing ETC since it's the one we were using two seconds ago. But they'll also apply to RVN and Ethereum if you want to be using that. Once again, I'm going to edit it. And we're just going to be using it right now. So T-Rex has this function called dash dash intensity. Um, which you don't have, even have to type in completely like I'm doing now. Um, you can also just shortcut it to dash i, which is way easier. Um, and so this value ranges from 9 would be the lowest up to 22, which is the maximum, 100%. So if you really don't want to be mining high, I would recommend 8. However, do be careful as sometimes uh, T-Rex will state that this is a too low value. So you might have to bump it up to 9, uh, which would be the lowest, but might still give more usage than 8 would have had. But if you really can't use it because uh, T-Rex always just bumps you with it, you can just use uh, I9, which also just works really well. So this will limit your GPU usage, and you can really set whichever value you want between 9 and 22, and it should work. The next one I want to say is dash dash temperature dash limit. Now there is no shortcut for this one, but it is very useful. What this will do is uh, add a limit of temperature when your CPU, when your GPU reaches it, it will stop mining. For example, if I say dash dash temperature limit 90, if my GPU reaches 90 degrees Celsius, it will stop mining completely and just pull down. What you want to be using in conjunction with this, though, is usually dash dash temperature and then dash start. Why do we use this, you might ask? Well, specifically because if you use temperature limit 90, if you reach 90 degrees Celsius, it will stop mining, but it will never start again. And that's why this function is here. So if you put it, for example, 70, uh, the value range for mining purposes will be between 90 and then 70. So it'll mine, you know, uh, heat up, heat up, heat up until 90 degrees, then stop, cool down all the way to 70, start again, and so on. I do not recommend using this um, all the time. It is actually more profitable to be mining at a constant rate than constant stopping, going back, stopping, going back. So. Uh, what I recommend is playing around with the intensity setting so you get that advantage rate itself. Um, but it isn't really specific. You, you'll see how hash rate is affected. If you remember properly, we were running at about 13 mega hash per second, um, between 13 and 13.3 maybe uh, in hash rates. And so we'll just have to wait for the DAC file to complete, uh, which should be in time now. There we go. And it should bring us to our new. Uh, hash rate value in okay so as you can see our hash rate is now down to 9.45 um this shows that i was limited now, of course, this may not have been what you were expecting, and I know that um, intensity is something to play around with, especially on laptops, um, since obviously the temperature is going to be way higher on a laptop than it is on a normal PC. So just play one of the values, see what you get. It's honestly um, a little bit of a game, just looking up the values, seeing how they change uh, when you change the uh, intensity value. But then again, that's all up to you. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. I hope to see you in the, in the
in another one um, and stay tuned.